Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an Xbox app login error message 401 or other various Xbox related issues on the Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in programs. Best match, you'll come back with add or remove programs. Go ahead and open that up. You want to search for Xbox. And then you want to select the three dot icon next to that entry and select advanced options. Scroll down and where it says reset, look at the first option here. If this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then attempt to launch the Xbox app again and see if the login error has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, you can try and reset the app. So if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Just make sure you have everything backed up and go ahead and select reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Go ahead and select reset. And now once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And then, like I said, hopefully your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, you can attempt to uninstall and then reinstall the Xbox app. So in order to do that, go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in PowerShell. Best match, you'll come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video, guys. It starts with get minus sign AppX package. And then go up the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, select edit and then paste it in, hit enter on your keyboard. And then once that is done, I'm going to have a link in the description of my video guys. I want you to go ahead and copy it. It's a Microsoft link here. So it's going to be the Xbox console companion. So go ahead and search for it and go ahead and select the get in store app. And give it a second here should begin downloading from the Microsoft Store. You can close out of the web browser too if you want at this point, as well as PowerShell. And select the Get button. And now if you click Open, it should open up the Xbox app. So pretty straightforward process here guys hopefully i was able to help resolve your issue and as always thank you for watching and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye